Chase Daniel Jones faces four counts of vehicular homicide for his involvement in a deadly crash that killed a woman and three children. That crash near Renton was the third that the 18-year-old is believed to have had in the last year. And tonight, we're getting a look at police video shot moments after one of those collisions. It was late in the evening in May of last year. Kent police respond to the intersection of Southeast 204th Street and 103rd Place Southeast for a crash involving two vehicles. After checking on the other driver, police approached Chase Daniel Jones, accompanied at the scene by his parents. You were driving? Yes, sir. Okay. Driver's license, registration, insurance. After exchanging all of the important information, police take Jones to the side to get his story. I was going down this way. I yep. was leaving the 24 hour fitness. Uh, I saw an open road. I was definitely going above the speed limit at 25. Okay. I don't have the money. I'm not sure I was not looking. If you had to guess. I, I didn't. 40, 50. Okay. Jones continues to explain his side of the story to the responding officer. He's kind of stopped in the middle of the road when he saw me, so I'm swerving like side to side to see if I can get across. Like Jones nor the other driver were cited for the crash. Kent police called for tow trucks and released all involved. Mistake. Things happen. Lesson needs to be learned. Police say he later totaled another car in January, also citing his speed as a factor. Jones was not charged in that crash either. Jones is still in the hospital in satisfactory condition after the deadly crash near Renton. When he is released, he'll be taken in jail and held on a million dollars bail. Jones is scheduled to appear in court on April 4th.